Hi, I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to create your first Wix website. So what you want to do is click on create. And that's, of course, after you log yourself in, click on create a site. And we're just going to click on other for the sake of this practice. And we're going to choose our own template. So we're going to come here. And the one we're going to choose is the construction one because I think that's a great one for practice. So if you come over here, click on two, you should see one that looks like a construction site. And here we are. So we're gonna construct. Now I wanna show you a few tips. So right now you can click on view to see how this site looks before you even start editing. Do you see that? Now, if you wanna see the full demo version, you can literally click on here, the full demo version, and just kind of scroll down just to see how simple this layout is, which is exactly why I chose this as your first sample. Okay, so coming over here, um, we're gonna click on edit. And then after you click on edit, just wait for Wix to set it all up for you. And then you're gonna notice how there's these menu options here more options here, and then just the basic very first title text. So um, right now it's saying leaders in quality construction. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna change that to, uh, let's see, how did everybody else change it to? We change it to under construction. Oops, I change it to under construction. Construction, hit dot, 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 I type, give it a try. And then um, just for fun, we just typed your first name. So if your first name is John, you would just type John, okay? And then, okay, so after you have under construction, give it a try, and then your first name here, um, take notice how Wix sets up their navigation toolbar. It's a little different than how we showed you um, to do it with Dreamweaver. So if you click on um, Manage Menu, you would notice when you click on Services, it doesn't take you to a Services web page. It actually just scrolls down. So same thing with the About. So everything is actually all on one single web page. That's generally the Wix layout when um, you get started with them. Yes, you can create different web pages, but for right now, everything is on one single web page. Now, um, now I can scroll back up. That's just how they have things set up. Now, um, the one thing I do want you to change um, is also notice this is a theme manager. Feel free to kind of play with the color scheme a little. So just kind of click one on one. Do you see how like it's changing a little bit here? Like up here up on the top is changing. You'll notice more of a change if you just kind of scroll down to the bottom as you're clicking on each of these color schemes. And just for practice and for fun, uh, feel free to pick a color scheme that you want to change your web page into. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose this one just for fun. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on X. So now I've changed my color scheme from the original one. It's not that big of a change, but it, it's just good to know you can have that option to change your whole color scheme. Uh, and now, um, just to wrap this up, click on publish. And you see when you click on publish, you get to edit this part right here. So this is your one chance to edit. So if you just wanna play with it by typing in your first name and type in 123. Okay, so this is gonna be our first practice. And then click on save and continue. And then feel free and see your website for itself. Okay, so click on done. And then you get to click on view site. And if you take a look at view site, you will literally see your web page being published on the internet with your own URL. So if you literally copied and pasted this into the Schoology Dropbox, um, I can give you credit for having this part done. So that's it. So just copy and paste this URL up here into the um, Dropbox on Schoology. And then now we're going to start making some change, um, some changes. So come over here, exit here, and then we're not going to play with the mobile website now. We're going to go all the way back to the very beginning here. 
I'm just going to keep on exiting until you go to the very beginning. Click on My Sites here. If you click on My Sites, do you see how right now you have your website? You can see I have a lot of other ones. If you come over here and click on Select and Edit Site, I want you to make this little change. We're going to rename what you just named. Okay, so what you're going to come here is come over here to Site Actions, click on Rename the Site. So come over here, rename, and do you see right here? This is the official name of the site. So if you click on um, that, if you take a look way up here on the very top, let me see if I can, my Wix website, is it still going to remember that? So let me just copy and paste this part right here. And it's going to be called John123. Oops, didn't work. John123. Okay. Do you see how up here on this tab, up here on the top, it says John123? Because they are assuming that's the name of the website you want on your tab itself. So if you close out of that and just change this to, say, for example, my first Wix site. Uh, this my first Wix is good and then change this one just for fun um, come over here and change it from one two three to three two one and see what happens so click on save here and then it's going to completely republish the site okay do you see that right here design Wix now it's John three two one so go ahead click on it and if you're on the internet do you see how the URL changed just like that, you change your URL and you also change your title for your tab. Okay, and that's it. That's just for the introduction. Um, more will be covered um, on Thursday. So if you can um, just copy and paste this new change into Schoology as well and make sure it's a link I can click on. And if you're confused, you can see how everybody else already submitted um, so you know what I'm looking for. And then uh, the homework is to basically change the construction background to any other background you want before you come back on Thursday. And we will continue to explore Wix somewhere. So hopefully you found this helpful. See you on Thursday.